Thank you so much for being with us. Could you please start by presenting yourself? I'm Dr. Amina Sumiti, an associate professor at Khalifa University, working under the Advanced Power and Energy Center. And one of your main fields uh, is uh, AI and artificial intelligence. Um, we just discussed it on the on scene uh, a couple of minutes before. What is your main message? We we talk about a lot about the threats, but there are a lot of opportunities also to seize with AI. Artificial intelligence will revolutionize the transport sector, leveraging data and algorithms to make the transportation efficient, safe, and sustainable. Autonomous vehicles is the biggest technology that everybody would like to see, perhaps, um, at least from my personal point of opinion, because it's going to make us reach wherever we need without needing a driver. And at the same time, we're anticipating that with the advancement in artificial intelligence, these autonomous cars can be also safe. So we can minimize the, the accidents on the roads. Are they already on the roads here? Well, there are some test cases of uh, autonomous driving. Um, for example, at Khalifa University, we have autonomous cars, which takes the students around the campus. So this is one of the examples. And you also have them in Mostar City, for instance. Yes. A lot of different types of vehicles already re uh, getting around. Okay. Yeah. Are there other opportunities you can, you can mention? E yes. Uh, for example, now, the, there is a belief that, the, according to the forecast, that autonomous vehicles is going to show global market. Um, there is a forecast of 1.8 trillion. US dollars um, for that specific market by 2030. And also, there was a recent announcement by the, um, uh, that Abu Dhabi Investment Office is going to have started something called SAVI, which stands for Smart Autonomous Vehicles Industry. And SAVI actually is going to include three components, the regulators, the infrastructure, and the innovation. When it comes to the infrastructure, they're going to be offering test zones to test the autonomous transportation. Uh, and this includes the Maqta Bridge, the Miral, the uh, Tawazon Industrial Park and the Master City. Okay. Could you, would you say AI is a priority for Abu Dhabi? Yes, AI, as you know, we have the Minister of Artificial Intelligence uh, and AI is one of the priorities. AI is believed as that is going to be driving the economic growth. And if we think about the economic growth, what other factors will contribute to is also the research. So the AI application and research and then moving towards development is going to really significantly contributing to the economic development in the country. Could you give some figures to um, let us know what the strategy is here of, of Abu Dhabi in terms of AI, uh, in terms of investments, number of people, students for instance? Maybe um, um, a tendency then, uh, if it's getting more important than it was a decade before, five years before, um, what I could say at this, in answering you to your question, I would say there is a huge interest from students when applying to the university in the field of computer science, and especially where people who are doing electrical engineering, they try also to go for a minor in artificial intelligence, which shows that there is a huge potential towards AI. And also it's believed that AI, as I said, is going to also revolutionize the economic sector. So we're anticipating even the future jobs to be led by AI. It's more concrete than it was before, maybe. IT was, was um, in a, a laboratory or um, in, a, in, a, in a room, and now it's on the field, can we say yes. that? Yes, now AI is actually in the field, okay? We can say, we can say for example, um, the predictions, the forecastings, not only for autonomous driving, but also, for example, for renewables, we do forecasting, and these forecastings are based on AI. Thank you so much. Okay.